Mariapa is out and call me Divock Origi because I'm super subbing in huge ep this week. We talk about Don Carlo Angelotti, some young A-League ballers, and the eggplant emoji. And don't worry, Adrian will be on next week. Enjoy. Uh, a new Kowal taking the league by storm. We know that Alu Kowal went to Stuttgart mm. earlier, but his younger brother, a lot of people rating him, I don't know, some people have been saying he's better than his older brother. I hope Alu, I hope he uh, <laughs> sees this clip, but I think, I think your brother's better than you, bro. I well, look, think your younger brother's better than you, bro. You, you think so? <laughs> well, it's a gifted family, and uh, scored scored the winner. It was a huge one for Central Coast as it was well. A finish as well. Is it he was, finish? yeah. Cut inside. Good player. Bang, um, and, and a finesse. You can't say that we haven't actually produced a lot of young players this season. Oh, it's definitely. been decent to watch, hasn't it? The young talent on display. We need to hype them up. Yeah. You did a TikTok on Nestroy. It's like, yeah. if, this, if he crazy, was playing yeah. anywhere else in the world, yeah. you'd see him everywhere. So why? Because he plays in Australia, we can't hype him up. I agree. We've got young talent. We've got the players. The games are good. They're entertaining. And those even saying, like I've seen a few people from England say, well, it's the fucking A-League and it's shit. Well, if they're, and it's equivalent to what? Let's say the A-League is equivalent to League One or whatever. The 15-year-old, Goes yeah. Bagging yeah. goals yeah. in the in in the League One or League Two, Arsenal's picking him up, Chelsea's yeah. picking him up, yeah. someone's picking him up. Jude Bellingham started in the Championship so when he was 15, like, 16. Now he's playing for Dortmund. Like, yeah, yeah. Little, little little rumor. Like oh, who's coming in? That potentially the new manager of McArthur could potentially be Dwight York. Wow, oh, the Man United legend. Him. Okay, makes sense then. He gets the All Star gig. That's his yeah. foot in the door. I yeah. about. Oh, he's got the. Door. Is, it, is that what it is? He's, he's got... taking the All Stars. Oh. He's never managed anyone. He's never managed before. Though. No, but he's got his pro license overseas, so he's he's taking the A League All Stars. Yeah. And I reckon after that he's going to take Macarthur for the season mm. coming up. Maybe you can get on the phone to a couple players. I reckon in the you're UK. right, Claude. Yeah. I reckon you're right, Claude. Ralph Ranić will stay on as the director of football. Mm. On top of that, he's apparently going to be taking the Austria job. And juggling it at the same time I as heard, being Man yeah. United's director of football. What do you make of that? Mm. How about that? How much work does he have to do as the director? Why should be Man United's a full-time job? Is that a bit of a slap in the face to Man United? That, oh, it is a little bit. My side gig? That's a little bit. Yeah. You know, it is. Now, think about it. Like, you're about to take on another job and you're director of football at United. Yeah. Especially Not because it seems like... No. Yeah. Not League and One. And he does his best work in those front office type jobs and not as a manager. Maybe yeah. it's his ego. It was a great night for the Aussies at the Scottish Awards. The Scottish Football Awards. Mm. So, Ange Postacoglu wins Best Manager. Oh, wow. No Love surprise. It. Big him up. Yeah, no, no, surprise. Su no surprise there, bro. He's absolutely Doing well. It. Doing very well. Could see him in the Premier League soon. Wow. Taking the City job. Two wow. years. The City job, you reckon? <laughs> Taking the City job. He's going to replace Pep. Wow. Oh. Think about it. He plays the attractive football. The fans yeah. would And it's not like City have had a long list of world-class managers. Yeah. They had Mark Hughes. Money City have had good managers. Money City. Ange Ange he plays that great football. He'll get ridiculed at the start, then he'll win the league at City. Conspiracy theory here. Any chance Chelsea looked across the dugout, it's Frank Lampard, and they just gave him this game. He's a Chelsea legend. I, <laughs> I allow it. <laughs> I I say, he honestly can't rule that out. We're, yeah. we're, we're like, well, we know That's if Lamps side. goes down, gets relegated with Everton, there's a slim chance he comes back up. Yeah. yeah. And we just want to see our boys succeed. Exactly. Yeah, right. yeah. So there's your free points. Chelsea fans will fight until the final day about Frank Lampard being better than Stephen Gerrard. Mm. So I think even now that they're both managers, it's like, we've got to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> Carlo Ancelotti becomes the first manager to win all five of the top European leagues. Wow. wow. Ancelotti or Pep Guardiola? You know what? I'm going to take Carlo Ancelotti. Wow. Nah, you just can't. because I feel like... You can't. I feel like... You can't do I that. I feel like... Pep Guardiola needs to go to a certain team. This Real Madrid team was rebuilding. Yeah. They lost all these stars. He wins the league there. Right. He's done it at multiple five leagues. He's won the set. Uh, He's the Thanos. I just, the I just think I just think Pep is he is the epitome of what beautiful football is. Does chocolate belong in the fridge? Key question for the week. Olan? Does chocolate belong in the fridge? Or, or in the in the pantry? It belongs in the, cup in the fridge. Keep it nice and fresh. Keep cold. it in the fridge? Yeah, keep nice it and hard? It's gotta go in the fridge. It goes in the fridge? Yeah, yeah. where did your pantry? I'm a fridge man. It's I gotta be know. in the fridge. I didn't know we'd all agree on this nah, one. Nah, yeah, it's gotta be in crazy. the fridge. So